Everybody want to get their booty done. Me, I prefer the natural cheeks. I respect cheeks in all sizes. Little booty cheeks and big booty cheeks. Medium booty cheeks, it's all cool, you feel me? As long as it's proportioned to your body and got a little jigger to it. We fucking with that over here, you feel me? We fucking with that. But a lot of ladies, they say they don't care what we think, you know? Because they see how we react to them. some nice big booty cheeks. And they be like, damn, I want that same reaction. So let me go and buy me some big booty cheeks. Whole time, the big booty cheeks that they buy do not match the thighs. You know, it got to be a ratio. You got to go to the right doctor if you're going to do it to get the right ratio. You just can't be out here looking all silly and shit. Then a lot of fellas have an issue because that shit right there is a slippery slope. You get one little handsome and done, you like, oh, okay, okay, all right. Then now you want to go in there, you want to get a titties, you want to get a lips, you want to get a full-blown makeover, then now we can... Some brothers can't distinguish the difference between you and Sid and Star. We just in a whole fucked up predicament. So what are we doing? What are we doing? Fellas voice how they feel about these BBL shits, you know? It's all about everybody doing what they want to do. You got to do what you want to do to make yourself happy. You feel me? There's somebody out there that's going to be for you and that's going to appreciate that shit that you do. So go ahead and try to make yourself happy yourself. Because obviously... Us telling you that you guys look beautiful the way that you are don't matter, you feel me? Us telling you to stay in your natural state don't matter. You're going to do what you want to do, obviously, you feel me? Here goes some men being some women business. My bad, my bad. But I like to observe culture. I like seeing how things shake and move out you and um, judging my head. And then when I go to heaven, I'm going to be up there talking to God about y'all like, yeah, they were wild, huh? <laughs> they were wilding down there, God. I don't know what they were doing, you feel me? But I tried not to judge too hard. I know I had my YouTube channel. I was talking a lot of crazy stuff on there, but I tried not to judge too hard, but I'm like, I'm going to talk to God about this later, you feel me? But yeah, so yeah. But <laughs> let's get into this right here. We got a lady that's saying um, some things about her recent BBL. Let's see what she talking about right here. Shit. Tell me you now. Okay, you good. Don't get this fucking shit, y'all. Don't get this shit. I'm telling y'all, this shit fucking hurts. Don't get this shit for real. <laughs> Do not get this shit. Do you understand me? You are fine the way the fuck you are. This shit fucking hurts. <laughs> Don't get this shit. Don't you get this shit. Don't you get this shit. This shit fucking hurts so bad. Y'all said y'all wanna see a fucking bloody truth. Here it is. Don't get this fucking shit. Do not. This shit fucking hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. So bad. I can't stop crying or shaking. They put a tube down your throat. I didn't fucking know that. They put a fucking tube down your throat. My throat is hurting. This shit fucking hurts, y'all. I don't give a fuck. I'm never coming back for nothing. I don't give a fuck. I'm never coming back. I'm never coming back. Never. I'm never coming back. No, no, this shit hurts. I'm never fucking coming back. Do you understand me? I'm never coming back. This shit fucking hurts so bad. This shit hurts so bad. I've been here since 7.30 this morning. I'm just leaving. I woke up freaking the fuck out. This shit hurts so fucking bad. I'm about to just pee on myself because I got to pee. Good God. Um, good God. Whoa. <clears throat> Pretty intense right there. Pretty intense right there. But um, <laughs> I don't think that's going to scare nobody away right there. I don't think that video right there is going to stop anyone from doing it because they probably going to play the numbers game. Like, well, that's one chick out of a hundreds of others that's that um that go ahead and do it. You know, the crazy thing is a lot of ladies look at those things like those enhancements, BBLs and the, the light poles and the titty jobs and stuff like that. They look at those as like investments in themselves to make sure they get some type of personal gain in their career. They, they really think that, you know, you go ahead and get those things and it'll be some men out here that's gonna come and trick on you and spend money on you then you can go ahead and 
some doors may open you'll be able to promote yourself online instagram you get them likes and stuff like that like no matter what field you in, you just get more attention ladies are understanding like the power of attention right there that's why when some people may say there's no such thing as pretty privilege that shit is all cap you feel me we all understand what an attractive lady gets we all understand that she gets things for free <laughs> she gets money you feel me we understand what attractive ladies get in society let's not be stupid let's not be disingenuous so it is what it is you feel me people that got a little cash behind them they're gonna drop a little bad to get them an advantage that god didn't give them you feel me? they're gonna try to go ahead and do what they can to get ahead can i blame them it's tough to blame people when you know society is the way it is everyone's just conditioned to what's going on you know everyone conditioned to what's going on do i wish they would stop yeah i wish they would stop but what can i do i'm just a little old me <laughs> little old stacy down here just watching everything just play out hoping people ain't sitting back crying like that you know that's all i can do that's all i can do but once again me and god gonna be out there just sitting back just being spectators and seeing all this stuff go on. Man, I'm going to sign out this video, though. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comment section below. It's your boy, Stacey, your favorite conditional lover, because I fuck with you. Reason why? Because you, you fucks with me. Hey, I'm out.